Welcome back my friends. Yes, I have a new radio for review today. So here's another one of my short and quick reviews on a radio. This is branded as an MML radio. It is known as the 8811. It's manufactured by, I think, JJCC, which is also available as an 8811 by JJCC. It's also a Radtel RT470. It's also available as a Rouage UV1D. Uh, I have seen it as Handgeek. Um, I've seen quite a few brands on it. I think it's another one of these where you can actually go to the manufacturer and say, uh, hey, uh, put my name on this, and for a few extra bucks, they'll manufacture as many units as you want with your name on it, which is kind of interesting. But as far as the radio is concerned, they're pretty much all the same. Now, I did see a version of this that claims to be a 10 watt radio. Um, the one I got is actually 5 watt, so it's not 10 watt, and uh, it'll not do 10 watts. It won't do past 5. Uh, it does come with 256 memories, and the best part of it is it has a color screen. So for a less than $40 radio, you're getting a full color screen on this, and it's okay. It's not the greatest of color screens. It's a nice screen. You can see the characters are very, very small. When you put a name on it, it's going to be very small to read. Now, when you're, when you're in frequency mode, they're fine. Frequency mode is okay. You can see the frequency is really bright and big. But if you're putting uh, memories, they're kind of small. Also, if you run it on uh, memory position, then it'll show you so if you want to change between the ability to see the screen, you can actually see anything between frequency, the memory, or the actual name. By pressing right there, you can see it goes to frequency. It can go to memory position. Or it can go to the name of whatever you have entered in your storage. Uh, the only thing is, when you go to name, the characters are very, very small. They're very large the other way. I don't know. It's fine. I think you get used to it. Um, although, I would have preferred if the characters were a little bit larger and more legible. But that's okay. Um, again, this has 256 memories, which unfortunately are not Chirp compatible. So this radio is not Chirp compatible. You have to download the software for this, uh, either from the Radtel site or a couple other positions. You can contact the vendor. They'll also send you a link to it. Um, some of the software versions of Chinese, I've not been able to convert them, but I have found English versions to it. So I did go ahead and use that to program, but you pretty much have to enter everything by hand. You cannot cut and paste from Chirp. You cannot uh, cut and paste from another CPS, so you pretty much have to do everything by hand. Um, it is K-plug compatible, so you use a K-plug. Um, as I said, it's a little bit chunky in the hand. It's kind of big. Uh, and I don't know why the, these radios have a very touchy push to talk. So if you're not very careful with it, you might accidentally be hitting that and transmitting. However, a nice feature is, yes, it has USB-C charging capability. So you don't have to put it in the cradle to charge it. You just charge it via USB-C, which is kind of nice, especially if you're carrying it with you or if you have it in your car. Uh, you can have like a battery pack to recharge it. Although the battery is big enough and appears to be big enough, um, it shouldn't be a problem. Again, and I've encountered this on uh, some other radios too, the keypad is alphanumeric um, as opposed to having the coded ones like like uh, most Balfangs. So I don't know, but you, I, I mean, you get used to it. I think you should be able to enter um, alphanumeric characters for your memory positions if you're programming by hand. I did try it. I was not able to do it. So if you're able to do it, hey, put the information below so that other uh, people checking it can get an idea of how it can be done. I uh, do like the antenna that comes with it. Again, it's a kind of flex antenna, something similar to a 701. Um, I did measure the antenna. It seems to be okay. Again, I don't worry too much about it. If the antenna comes in decent, uh, I'm not worried. I do have a ton of antennas that I can carry with me when, if, when I need more range. I have uh, 
several different shorter and longer antennas depending on my use for the radio. Uh, I'm going to do a separate test on that, on how I test the antennas and how I test the radios. This did test out at about 5 watts or 4.9 watts. Um, what I don't particularly care for is, and I, you may have noticed I don't usually put uh, belt clips on my radios, but this one actually takes the belt clip on the back of the battery, it screws on there, um, which means that if you're going to change the batteries, you have to have extra battery clips. Not that I worry about that too much, I usually don't, but being USB-C means you can carry a battery pack, you can charge it through that, make it a lot easier and not an issue. Um, that's pretty much it on this radio. Um, would I buy it again? Probably not. I, I mean, I got it. I think I paid um, a little under $40 for it. And it works. It's another radio. If this helps you all, I really would appreciate it if you were to subscribe. Uh, you can send any messages. I try to answer them right away. And thanks for watching.